So when we have a monorepo, uh, we have, let's say, multiple applications in that monorepo, multiple libraries. It's, it's a very, very big monorepo. There come some challenges working with uh, bigger teams or multiple teams. So I was wondering uh, what kind of need flow do you think would be the best to handle this kind of cases? Because I have seen uh, like some people I recommend the trunk based kit flow, uh, some people feature based kit flow, and uh, maybe there are some any other approaches than this. I'm interested to hear your opinion on, on how to treat like the git flow. Yeah, I'm I'm really a fan of trunk based development. Uh, I've used GitHub flow and GitLab flow and both are fine for me. I don't use Git flow. Um, and I also think when we talk about a huge mono repo, besides those flows, we also need some code owners because someone needs to be responsible for a given portion of the application. Um, this needs not to be one person. Uh, I have seen that it works quite well if a group of people is responsible for a given portion and then you might have some rules like in a critical area of your um, mono repo, perhaps two or three people need to do a review. The Angular team is doing this, for instance, when you change something directly within the framework, I think you need a review from two or three people and you could say, well, if there is a satellite a uh, portion of your application that is not that critical, then perhaps just one review is good enough. But someone needs to be responsible at the end of the day. And of course, you need this machinery of having automated tests and perhaps automated linting roles and so on. Uh, what we had was that uh, we had like multiple teams work even like in multiple business contexts inside of like the relatively large setup. And then of course with like the code owners then the team had like their own kind of like folder for that business contact with their own application and library. So then of course they had like the full reign within that context. And then of course, if they wanted to go outside of that context, like maybe if they changed something which was consumed inside of other contexts. And of course, they would have to like seek like a review from the others. Yeah, okay. excellent. Makes a lot of sense to have it that way. And I think this also brings us to a more general topic, namely, somehow you need to decide how to slice your application into parts that are maintained by different teams or where different teams are the code owners or different people. And this is why I love the idea of domain-driven design, because it gives you some tools that allow you to subdivide your overall application into parts that can be more or less decoupled from other parts. Of course, sometimes it's a bit religion. If you look into DDD, this is one aspect I don't like that much about DDD, but if you look at it as a toolbox, then it can really help you to subdivide everything into pieces that can be decoupled. And so you don't have too much overlapping tasks. 